I guess you've heard the news. You've heard the broadcasts. You've, you've read the headlines. But have you read, have you heard what your Bible has to say about these days we are living in right now? There's so many verses that we could look at at this exact moment and see it unfolding before our eyes. But let's just take a look at a couple of them. In Matthew chapter 24, the Lord Jesus said in verse 6, You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place. But the end is not yet. So, we have Jesus warning us, there will be all these wars and rumors of wars, but what are you and I supposed to do at that time? How do we handle these news broadcasts and these headlines? We must make sure that we are not alarmed. Why shouldn't we be alarmed? If you look at Jesus speaking again in Luke chapter 21, he now, he begins in the beginning of this warning the Jews about things that are going to be taking place in Jerusalem, in Israel, within the next 70 years. But he gets down so far and he cuts over into dipping into a little bit of what John saw in the book of Revelation concerning the tribulation. And he gets in verse 27 announcing that everybody's going to see him coming back with power and great glory. In verse 28, he sort of kind of reinforcing what we heard over there in Matthew 24. See to it that you are not alarmed. Reiterating the same thought, he says in Luke 21, 28. Now, when these things begin to take place, look up, raise your heads because your redemption draws near. So my position in seeing all of this, in hearing all of this, is to walk around my shoulders back, my chin up, looking. You know what that position and posture is? That is confidence. That is expectation. What is that expectation? That the Lord is returning to this earth. You have so many scriptures you could read about his return and him setting up his kingdom and what he's going to do. Let's just take a quick little dip over here into the book of Ezekiel. In Ezekiel chapter 38, we, we begin to see war unfolding that is dictated, so it seems, by Satan himself. What we find out, though, is he's not calling the shots at all. <laughs> he is on a hook, the Lord says. In Ezekiel 38, this is word of God that gives us confidence, helps us to not be alarmed and to keep our chin up in expectation. Ezekiel 38, verse 1, says, The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, set your face toward Gog. That's Satan. Of the land of Magog, showing us that Satan is very seriously puppeteering a specific nation in the earth. The chief prince of Meshach and Tubal and prophesy against him, against Satan, you see, and say, thus says the Lord God, behold, I am against you, Gog. <laughs> when you drop down to verse 16, the Lord says, I'm going to bring you against my land. His land is, of course, the holy nation of Israel, that the nations may know me. Through you, O Gog, I will vindicate my holiness before their eyes. Now, this land, Magog, is called the land farthest north, and that would be Russia. Now, Russia's dominating your headlines right now, isn't it? Now, God didn't say he was against Magog, or the land farthest north, Russia. He said he's against Gog, that demon devil power that puppeteers. So I just want to encourage you in your praying and let it be so that we are not found prayerless at this time. Let's be a people who are praying according to the knowledge we have of God's word and God's will. So we are praying according to this word, knowing we're praying to the God who is against Gog. <laughs> How can we have 
low confidence and drooping heads and despair and alarm when we know that we are in covenant praying to the almighty God, Jehovah, Yahweh God, who is against this demon power, evil Gog. So let us pray in faith, in confidence. Let us keep our chins up, our heads up. Let's keep our mouth right. Hmm? Keep our mouth according to the word of God, which means there's no alarm in our mouth, no, no dismay in our countenance, no, because we'll walk in this according to the word of God. Wars and strife, I know it's on every hand. And violence fills the land. I don't know how some people, why they doubt that Jesus will come again Cause I know the word The word of God is true He will redeem His chosen few So don't nobody lose hope Soon Christ Jesus He's coming back again <laughs> In the signs of the times Are everywhere And there's a how to pray <laughs> we know how to stand and we know what to be keeping our mouths full of right now stay with the word of god